Hi guys, it's Sue again. Um, I'm back with another journal that I've just finished and I wanted to share with you. It features very heavily um, butterflies and um, I've used a printable kit from Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah. I'll put the link to her Etsy shop down below. Um, I chose it, it had blue in it, blue and um, like a nice tanny, taupey, um, vintage sort of brown colour. Um, blue is not my colour, but I thought I'll have a go at it because I've done a few blue journals lately and really enjoyed doing them. So I'll just share with you what I've done. So I've used, it's a soft cover. Um, so I've used Tim Holtz fabric, as you can see there. Um, a doily that I've coffee dyed, a bit of cheesecloth, some trim, and then I've just put collection. So inside there's a collection of butterflies. So I've left all my threads hanging as you would know from seeing my videos prior. If you have been watching them, I love all that grungy, messy um, look and having them, if whoever gets the journal doesn't like that look, they can easily be trimmed back, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna check that I'm in frame. I've still got my not so great setup. Okay, so I'll do a quick flip through for you. So as I said, it's um, a printable kit from Shabby Dabby Doodah. And I've just shut the journal with some beautiful um, satin seam binding. Okay. So on the inside, what I've done here is um, I've used, I had little bits and pieces left over from um, the printable kit. So I've just cut them up and made a stitchable um, pocket, like a Franken, page but I've just made it into a pocket using the leftover bits and pieces that I had and I just printed out a couple of little quotes and stuck that there so this is just a tag that I've stamped and um, dyed with distress oxide so I've used this blue satin seam binding throughout and I've just inked it up a little bit with um, vintage photo just to grunge it up a little bit um, this is also out of the, the kit and I've just printed it onto um, some tracing paper. It's fairly, um, it's not the best quality, so it's very flimsy. Um, I was in Daiso the other day and saw them uh, packs they had, so I thought I'll give it a go. Um, but it turned out quite nice, I like it. And then just two of the little cards out of the kit and I've just backed them with um, they're either coffee dyed paper or the end pages from old vintage books and stitched around those and I've just inked up the envelope as well so here I've just added a um, fabric flip uh, and this the fabrics actually got a butterfly on there and I've actually sewn some seed beads onto the body of the butterflies and I hope you can see this is one of um, Tina's printables as well and I've printed it onto fabric and done the same. I've stitched some seed beads um, onto the body of the butterfly, just layered it with a little bit of cheesecloth and that's a printable page. So plenty of room for journaling throughout. I'm becoming more aware with my journals um, to try and not decorate as heavily or if I do decorate to clip things on so that people do have a lot more journaling space and they can make the journal their own so you'll see probably a few more blank pages than what you normally do in my journals so this is just a digital stamp and once again I've um, done the um, the butterflies as the butterfly wings as the tabs this is just a little um, collage that I've done. So in this tag here I've coffee dyed it and I've added some um, texture paste through a stencil. Um, this is this blue piece here is out of the printable you can see the butterfly there and then I've cut the butterfly um, and placed that on there so the wings are actually free. So and just um, laid that all onto an, a vintage book page and that is actually a tuck. And this is a tuck as well, just for some, a smaller item. And in this pocket, I've just put one of the um, faux postcards that I made. And that all folds out for extra journaling. It's a 
these are the printables. So what I've done with these as well, because I'm so technically challenged, uh, I can't ever work out how to print onto the back side of these printable pages and make them so that they're even. Um, so what I've done is with mine, I always just back them with coffee dough paper and stitch around them. And I think it just gives it another texture as well. So, and the page is quite sturdy, so it'll handle photos and that sort of thing. So here's another printable. Um, this little word here was off a, a piece of um, designer scrapbooking paper that had butterflies on it and had different names. I don't know, it looked like that butterfly, but I don't know whether it is, so I've just stuck that there. Um, and as you might be able to see, I've also sewn through the body and you'll see I've left the tails loose from my sewing so they look like the little antenna of the the butterfly I thought that was pretty cute it was actually an accident but I've continued that throughout the journal and in here I've just done um, this is a postcard from the kit once again backed with a um, end page of a vintage book and I've stitched around them all and that's coffee dye paper So this is, um, I actually pinched this idea from Tina. She did some hippie hinged uh, little booklets and with one of her printables, I did a similar sort of thing, just layered it with a little bit of cheesecloth, stamped around the edge, and it's just another little piece of um, hidden journaling that you can do. Nice decorative piece. Just got that clipped on there. It's clipped on the other side with this, um, I think it was Maggie Holmes, I've had these for a long time and it just matched in beautifully with the, the journal. So, And this is another printable that I've printed onto that, um, that cheaper tracing paper. And that's one of the cards. just clipped that on and clipped it down through the butterfly's body there and just stick this piece back on so as you can see everything's coffee dyed throughout this is another beautiful printable page just a bag that I've put in the middle and a couple more cards so this is in the um, this is actually one of the kit I've just added a little bit of um, seam seam binding ruffle and this is this little piece here is out of the kit and I've just put it on, on a miniature index card and um, it's been coffee dyed and just done a little collage with that. So there's room for extra journaling on those as well. So this is, um, this is actually a pocket that I've sewn together and inside I've just put a sheet of coffee dyed paper um, which I've randomly stamped script on and then on the other side I've done just a little collage here with one of the printables as well and this blue piece here which matched in beautifully with the kit is actually the inside of a um, a legal window face envelope so I've just done that and made a little collage with it just a um, little envelope flap that I've put over, you'll see the other side in a minute, that I've just put over this page and made into a tuck. This beautiful label's out of the kit as well, as are these. Don't look at my circles, they're not, I can't ever, I kept trimming and trimming and trimming to try and get it perfect, but ended up just inking it, um, which didn't make it look quite as bad, so. And I've done the same thing again there, I've stitched through the butterfly's body and just left the threads hanging for its antenna. I love butterflies, so I had a heap of fun putting this journal together. So this is the envelope um, that I've just stuck to this side and I've just um, done a little collage again. Because a lot of um, the printables um, had, you know, postcards or script and that sort of thing, I've just sort of carried that theme through as well. This was just a big piece of um, the printable that I just bought the blue in, just a paper ruffle that I've done. And then you can see I've added a little bit of texture paste there as well. It just gives everything a little bit more dimension. 
So here I've um, modge podged a napkin to a little paper bag um, and I actually fussy cut it. I found in my um, botanical book some blue flowers. So I fussy cut those out and just did a little collage on the front. So at the back, um, it's a tuck. And here, once again, I've used the inside of those um, legal window face envelopes with the blue, just inked it up a bit and stamped and fussy cut the butterflies out. Um, just a little bit of lace and seam binding on the top there. And I've just put a little charm that says wish with a bold pin on there and script. And inside the pocket, I just did a um, little bit of a um, napkin, a little bit that I had left over, modged, podged it onto a tag that I had actually put some texture paste on as well. Beautiful, beautiful pages. So here's just some of these um, blue flowers that I just wanted to put some flowers in there. Obviously butterflies and flowers go together. So um, I wanted to try and keep the theme blue. So I've just done a uh, crosshatch stamp in the corner and just added that on there. And uh, this is um, an envelope out of the kit. So I've just tucked that over this page and clipped it onto this page. As I said, I'm trying to keep as many pages blank as I can so that people can make the, whoever gets the journal, they can make it their own. They can take these out and add them throughout the journal or use them in another project if they want to. Um, it's totally up to them, at least though their blank pages aren't completely covered. So with this one out of the, um, the kit, I've just sewn around it completely, backed it with coffee dyed paper before I sealed it up. And then I've just randomly stamped on that. And inside I've just put um, a little bit of coffee dyed paper which I've randomly stamped script on as well. And this is just another one of my um, paper clips that I've dyed using, um, I don't know whether you can see that there, using alcohol ink. That was a silver clip. I just love how it makes it look aged and rusted without having to go through that whole rusting process. Here's another butterfly tab, some Edith Holden paper. And this is another piece of the, the beautiful um, printable. And I've just done some sari silk trim down there and added a little butterfly, filigree butterfly charm hanging off the side. This is another pocket here. Now this is printed on fabric again and it was, I was going to make it a little pocket, but I sewed it with the backing on and it's got like a plastic coating the backing and I couldn't get it off without pulling all the thread out. So I've just left it on there. It's just a decorative piece now, just a little collage that I've done. Um, and this piece probably won't fray so much cause it's got the backing on it, but um, that's okay. A bit of cheesecloth and another little floral piece that I've fussy cut. And in here as well is another piece of coffee dyed paper that I've collaged on. Just using some old music paper, some more of that printable that's out of the kit as well, and just laid it with a bit of cheesecloth. Sorry about that, the phone's ringing outside now just some old music paper that I've used and I've just put some butterfly washi on the bottom. Um, here I've got a tuck, side tuck, that I've just once again um, decoupaged a napkin onto, another fussy cut floral piece and some buttons and cheesecloth there that I've layered. Um, and here I've also printed out um, the printable out of the kit onto that tracing paper again. Backed it with um, another piece of the printable and I've just made it a little pocket. And you can see that's um, the, some designer um, scrapbooking paper. Sorry, I, I'm, my brain's not working. And that's from Kayser Craft and that's the anthology range in there. And then I've just popped this um, gorgeous little card out of the kit as well. I've sewn completely around it, added an eyelet and some trim and just backed it with a piece of vintage 
um, paper out of a, the back of a book. So just another little piece of um, botanical that I've fussy cut out. This is uh, some Tim Holtz tissue paper. So this page here, I've just wrapped a um, doily, coffee dyed paper doily from this side over to the other page. Just a little tag with some book paper and you'll see further on I've used, um, punched this out of a tag that I've made. So rather than let it go to waste, I've just stamped some script on that and just left it as the wings are a little bit 3D as well. Um, and then I've just decoupaged onto another one of these miniature index cards and put a little bit of sari silk on there. I'm loving sari silk at the moment. It's got a mind of its own, but it always turns out beautiful. I think it does anyway. So this is a tuck. So, I mean, you can put them, put more in there. I've just put that there just so that you can see um, the decoupage that I've done in the, the sari silk. So this is where the doily folds over to the other side. I've just done another fussy cut botanical and just a, a piece of linen um, just for a bit of texture. So I've made a pocket here as well. Um, this is out of the anthology range as well and done a little bit of sari silk. Um, these little butterflies here I found at an op shop a couple of weeks ago. There was a big packet of the die cutter. They're probably about 50 of the um, the same shape and so I've just inked it up in the blues and the and the browns and then I've just backed it with coffee dye paper and then just stamped some random script on the back so you can either have it made that way or you can have it that way it can be used throughout or it can just sit in there as a little card and then I've also just printed out a, a beautiful little poem about a butterfly added a tab and just backed it with some coffee dyed cardstock. So this is just a little um, writing paper sheet that was in the middle of the book that I've added. And I've just done a collage just for decorative purposes mainly. And in here there's a little tuck, you could put something else in there. But I just um, did this miniature little tag with another tag hanging from it. Just inked it up and it just sits in there. Um, stamped the the tag, put a little bit of hessian, I love all the texture, I keep all these, well not all of them, but lots of threads from when I tear uh, fabric, little strips of paper, and then I've just put a book plate there and it says embrace nature. So this is the middle of the um, signature, a little bit more sari silk. Now I've left the, um, the strings long and with nothing on them, so the new owner can add whatever they like or they can trim them back so they're shorter but once again it looks like um, butterfly antenna sticking up there and then i just put these little die cuts on the the side of this other side of that writing paper here's another one of those clips that i dyed using alcohol ink if you'd like to see how to do that just let me know and i can do a quick tutorial very easy very messy but lots of fun so I've just clipped a floating pocket on here so this is uh, another old book page that I've decoupaged this napkin onto and it was quite fragile I've just torn the edges I wanted it to look like that it's meant to look like that um, I've torn the edges and here as well and I've just put a specimen number so to go with the collection Book plate at the front um, and then these cards are out of the the printable kit as well so just clip that on there another one of those little clips a little postcard out of the kit just spoke to me this kit because I love postcards I love anything to do with postage I love butterflies it's just, um, I love script, it's just perfect for me, so. So this is a um, an aged envelope that I've done inspired by Tracy Fox. If I can get it off. 
Um, so it was a pristine white envelope that I've just made it look a little bit aged and I've just stamped some postmarks on there, made my own faux postage stamp. I've got a tutorial on those if you're interested. And this blue and this once again is out of the, um, the kit and I've put this on fabric as well. So just for a bit of, it uh, probably doesn't show up so much on the camera, but it's just a nice little bit of texture. Just wrapped some of that um, music paper around the back, inked it all up. They're a lot of fun, these envelopes. And I've just put a little bit of coffee dye paper in there and I've just stenciled some, um, just some random doily prints on there. So as I said, there's lots of journaling space, lots of room. Um, to add photos and lots of memories. Let's put that on there. So this is the other side of that beautiful printable page. Um, so here I've just made a little, this was a card. So I've just covered um, the front of it and just made a little closure here. Put some, um, some seam binding ruffle trim down there. And it just opens up so you can journal here and I've just put in here um, quite a few bits of extra paper for hidden journaling. So that's all coffee dyed in there. So that just closes up like that and then behind it is a pocket. So this is just another card that um, I had a piece of that um, butterfly napkin left over so I just decoupaged onto there. And this is the other beautiful envelope out of the the kit so as you can see again hopefully you can see I've sewn through the body and left the threads to look like the antenna and I've just stamped randomly on the back there and that one's got nothing in it so this is another pocket um, just trying to remember whether I put anything in all of them so this one's just a plain piece of coffee dyed paper can be decorated however by the new owner or just left and what am I doing here left and um, written on lots of um, hidden journaling and I love uh, I do I don't know how you guys feel but I love having um, lines going different way as well so um, I'm going to be doing some uh, journal with me videos down the track and you'll see in my journal I you know I've got writing going this way and I've got writing going this way I love just you know it just adds a little bit of um, interest to the whole whole journal whole book so on here I've just got a um, craft cardstock ca um, tag that I've cut out I've just recently purchased this beautiful lacy tag punch from Kayser Craft and I've just added a bold pin and another one of those little filigree butterflies there and I've inked around it all. It's a beautiful page. Um, it's just another um, manila tag, shipping tag, that I've just put a little bit of, a, um, what do you call them? Wood, wood veneers, laser cut wood veneers. I've got so many of them, I need to start using them up and just laid it with a bit of cheesecloth and inked it all up. This is um, the Tim Holtz pocket, document pocket, I'm not sure what you call it, sorry. So I've just put a um, number there and then in here I've just added all these um, tags and they've all got um, a specimen, different butterfly stamped on there and a different specimen number put on each one. So that was a lot of fun. I've got so many. Um, butterfly stamps it's ridiculous I didn't realize how many I had so it was good to be able to use use them up now that I've got them out pull them out I'm gonna use them a lot more it's just a digital stamp it's another little piece of that printable kit collaged up there this is another pocket sewn pocket in here I've just put um, this out of a um, an old book it's a beautiful um, botanical print there with the blue blue flowers and that's the other side so 
here on the other side you can see I've just done another um, collage and I've added some texture paste on the back with ink and these I've torn these pieces out of the printable um, this is on fabric I've printed this is from the printable as well and I've printed it on fabric laid it with cheesecloth and just done a postcard stamp across the lot of it there that was a lot of fun and here's the other side of that bag and I've just put collector on there and there's room for journaling on that now here's another little um, flip out that I've done and in this one I've just made some tabs with my tab punch um, on some index cards and then I've just hinged them all um, out so they flip out so I'll try and show you so oops I just bent his wing so I left the wings loose so they they look like they're coming off the page laid them with some cheesecloth and I've used some micro beads I'm not sure oh, whether you could actually see them um, so I've just added some gold micro beads on there and I've put a specimen number on these as well so here's another and these butterflies are all cut out of um, Tina's kit as well um, it's another one and I've put some black micro beads few gold ones crept in there it's so messy using those things I had them everywhere and the hinges I've just done with um, glued washi tape so they're not going to come out I've glued them and each there's washi tape there washi tape there um, washi tape underneath the next one so there's plenty there to keep it all in place and this is the last one that I've cut out of the kit as well and it's got silver micro beads there so and it all hinges out so there's plenty of room for journaling This is just a um, another little tablet on the back of card. There, it's got butterflies on it, and I've just wrapped it around um, that piece of music paper, and it's just coffee dyed on the inside. It's a great way to use any greeting cards that you find. Sometimes, if they have something written on the back, you know where they're manufactured, that sort of thing, I will just cover them with some um, either Frankenpage paper or. Um, just some decorative paper so, but this is how these cards came so um, just a, a great way to add a little bit more uh, journaling spots to your to your journal so this is out of the kit as well and I've just added some sari silk there this is one of my tool tape um, pieces that I've done I've got a tutorial on on those as well and I've just made it into a page band there and I've just made this little tag here which turned out really cute and that's where that butterfly came from um, at the beginning of the book. So I've just layered lace there. Um, I don't know, it just adds a little bit of interest and a little bit of fun. So that just slides in there. Just stays in there. It's another one of those butterfly tabs. Another bot botanical. You can see I'm starting to run out of blue. You know how hard it is to find blue flowers out of my books it's hard anyway <laughs> lots of purple and lots of pink so and this is the back of one of those beautiful printable pages and as you can see I've done a pocket in the back here as well um, sewing little bits of um, the printables that I had left I just cut them up and made a jigsaw out of them another little quote and then in the back here is one of Tina's printables and then just a large shipping tag that I've stamped three of the butterflies on there as well so as I said lots and lots of space for journaling or adding photos had so much fun um, with this as I said I love butterflies and um, the blue um, wasn't that hard I, I as I said I've done a couple of blue albums sorry blue journals lately and um, really enjoyed putting them together so um, this was so much fun I hope you like what you see guys if you do please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already um, subscribed please subscribe to my channel as I said I will leave the link to Tina's shop down below pop on over and have a look at her beautiful printables um, and give them a go they're great fun all right guys thanks again and hopefully I'll see you again soon take care bye bye